Duffy. Having completed the weather briefing, he's now joined the rest of the crew in their suit-up activities. This will be Duffy's second flight as a commander. His first flight as commander was STS-72, and on that flight he did fly with crewmate Koichi Wakata, mission specialist number five on this mission. Here we have pilot Pam Melroy. She will assist Duffy at the flight controls for launch, for rendezvous, docking, and landing operations. She will undock Discovery from the International Space Station. Here we have Michael Lopez Alegria, mission specialist number four. He will join Jeff Wiseoff on EVAs two and four. They will install and hook up PMA-3 to the Unity module of the International Space Station. His only previous flight was STS-73. Here is Jeff Wiseoff, Mission Specialist 3, making his fourth shuttle flight on STS-92. Previous flights STS-57, 68, and 81. The latter was a mere space station mission. And here we have Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata, mission specialist number five. Previously flew on STS-72, as we said before, with Commander Duffy. He will operate the shuttle's robot arm for many of the functions on this flight. Mission Specialist number two, Bill MacArthur, already has his helmet donned. He serves as a flight engineer on the flight deck during ascent and during landing. He will also spacewalk with Leroy Chow on two of the four spacewalks. And there is his spacewalk partner, Leroy Chow. Mission Specialist number one. He is overall responsible for the Z-1 truss systems. This is his third mission. The suit technicians here in the crew quarters are making final checks of the equipment. Checking each and every item that the crew will wear throughout the ascent phase of the flight. All continues to go well with flight crew preparations. Standard system checks ongoing here in the firing room with no issues being worked at this time.